What's going on with my YouTube? This is Very Mellow Man, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Persona 3 New Moon Rebalanced mod. Last episode, we cleared every floor up until 201. And, well, basically, we cleared the boss fight, of course. Nothing, nothing, nothing else to really say about that. Oh, but last episode we also completed the star. No, yeah, that's last episode that's what happened. Star is the episode before. So now we're just gonna go back to our daily life. What's left of it anyway? <clears throat> Get our great stays back. So, I started watching Castlevania last night, and I have to say, it is a fantastic show. I'm all the way on the fourth season, because if there's one thing Netflix is great for, it's binge-watching. And I'm glad I waited so long to get into, ne into Castlevania, because binging that show and back back and having to wait years and years and new seasons would have destroyed me. Like, good goodness, it would have destroyed me. Okie dokie. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. So, yeah, let's start with the first. So, I have never played a Castlevania game before, and that was pretty much the entire reason I didn't want to get into the Castlevania. Not an anime. It looks like an anime, of course. The Castlevania show is so fun. Got me. But it's also really. It's a, one of the best adaptations of an existing video game franchise out there because it's an adaptation that you can watch without having played any of the games and still understand the story that they're trying to tell, as well as the motivation behind the characters who are going on, who are the main characters. The Omega Drive. I guess I'll buy that. All right, let's go into the city. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. So basically, the reason I like the Omega Drive so much is precisely because it lets me. I think we've run out of swords to buy from level ups at this point. I don't have an Omega Drive. So, yeah, I guess the Omega Drive is why I really should have gotten. Yeah, got my spare set of lightning gloves for Yukari whenever I get the chance for her. Now, both Yukari and I just have their natural uh, weaknesses completely nullified. Alongside Mitsuru. A broken heart. Sell for a nice. A lot of money. Alright. That's all I came here to do. Um, anyway. So straight up, now it's part of the game where you have to use the Oracle draw in order to increase how many points a social needs in order to rank up the next event. Since it's Sunday, we're just gonna use the Oracle draw from Kari here. And we get a little bit of money. Oh, that's right. Time for the exams as well. 
without no Taurus. But. Forgot about these amps. These are the last exams of the game, too. You know how it is in Persona. You get four exams per game. So, yeah, Castlevania anime. Castlevania cartoon. It's not an anime. It's a cartoon. It is really good. Trevor Belmont. I know who the Belmonts are. I, I cannot, like, as a gaming icon, specifically. I'm not familiar with any one Belmont character before this cartoon, but I really like Trevor Belmont. I feel like even if I was familiar with the other Belmont characters like Simon, I would still be able to like Trevor for saying out in his own way in the way the story wants me to appreciate him. Like, he is just so slovenly. Like, the dude is a He has a good heart. He is... He very much is a hero, and he comes from a whole lineage of them. They do act that way. But straight up, the way he's introduced is the perfect way to distance himself from the other Belmonts. Like, all I know about Simon Belmont is that he looks like Conan the Barbarian if he traded a sword for a whip. Or, or is that... No, Leon is the first Belmont. Simon is the other Belmont. It's probably the one who started in the first video game in the franchise. But, straight up, either way, um... Sypha and Alucard... Like, Trevor, Sypha, and Alucard made a really fun uh, pair of characters to interact with. Uh, in the first season. that That's another thing. I was shocked that the first season was technically only four episodes, and the second season was actually eight. Like, it feels more like... It feels like... I heard that Netflix sometimes did this, and I do recognize them doing it with the Catherine... With the, um... she and the Princess of Power um, cartoon, where they order a show, and they just split up the show to air it later among months in order to increase... In order to just straight up uh, increase the... Have more hype, basically. It's just done for hype. But there's no good reason for... Um... There's no good reason... It makes it... But the point I'm trying to get is that I think... When I was watching she Princess Princess Power, Season 1 had exactly as many episodes as I thought a first season was going to get. But then seasons 2 and 3 turned out to basically an entirely different season composed together. We only have a short time to get out of this. So we'll be looking to nostalgia. We'll be looking back nostalgically these times. Did something happen? Besides the fall of me? I'm just tired. So you need to worry. Since my father passed away, I've been faced with many difficult problems. My inheritance, execution of Kirijo, and extensions of everyone involved in both. Most likely, I won't be able to attend college within the profession, and I will have to find a path. Say, so, Arisato, what are your thoughts on marriage? It's the result of love. <laughs> You're so straightforward. However, I'm a Kirijo, cannot simply be in a position for emotions. An agreement between two parties, such as marriage, is carefully considered. Parents' marriages range for strategic reasons, but as time passes, so do the love each other. I consider them unfortunate. Love comes all different forms. Please agree. That's a tough one. If I can speak to my father one last time, I would ask him. I can't believe the library is closing. We're still here. Talking to the library. So not saying a very good example of student council president. In my term, as student council president is almost over. We should go. But, mm. Season 1 and 2 of Castlevania, in relation to what you just said about She-Ra. She-Ra split Season 2 and 3. So you split Season 2 into Seasons 2 and 3 in order to milk more viewership uh, waiting time. So, with Castlevania, it feels like the first season was actually split into a 
four season first episode a uh, four season four episode first season we can also be using this time to increase the power of one of our social links powers through the racing game but I don't know the problem with that is that that sounds like something we should be doing at the end game Look straight up, the biggest problem is that we just don't have it in us to afford to do that type of min-maxing when there's no time for it. So Persona 3 really doesn't give you a lot of room for error. If you want to max those, like, the, the, the calendar in this game, in Persona 3, Persona 3 was even worse. Since you had one less social link to deal with that, and you still had to basically um, follow a guy in order to max out every social link 100% in one playthrough. But in FES, you don't have any less room for error, realistically speaking. Yes, who is it? It's me. Oh. You don't stop by very often, senpai. Is something wrong? No. I just wanted to talk. Aw, are you feeling won't we? Hey, are you teasing me? No! Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what this Nyx is like. Hey, do you think it's inside Tartarus? I have no idea. Oh, by the way, I've made my decision. I want to fight to the end. It's better than doing nothing. That's why you're here, isn't it, Senpai? To talk about our decision? I... I guess it is. <laughs> you're so easy to read. I've made my decision as well. Kirijo is making great strides to turn itself around. After I graduate, I plan to assume leadership of the group and continue where my father left off. I cannot turn back now, even if I wanted to. But what if you die? If I die defeating Nyx, then the Kirijo group will have to continue on without me. But I am confident they would fulfill my wishes. Ryoji said Nyx can't be defeated, but I kind of wonder about that. I don't think our special member can be killed either. I agree. Death dwelled within him, amplifying his abilities, though he was exceptional to begin with. He's an interesting guy, huh? Yes, he is. You know, if things don't work out, I think I'll still be okay as long as I'm with everyone. Honestly, it doesn't matter whether or not we die. All that matters is that we're proud of how we lived. And I'd be proud if we decided to fight Nyx. Does your decision have anything to do with your father? Hmm, a little. But it's more about me and how I feel. I understand. Senpai, when we were in Kyoto, you asked me to stand by your side. Do you remember? Yes, I remember. We will fight together, Yukari. Together. Now, I wonder if our conversation um, yesterday about love and marriage and what it means to truly love someone in an arranged marriage has anything to do with Mitsuru and Yukari. Like, it's just, I'm not saying this for shit purposes. I don't. I'm not. If I had to pick a Mitsuru ship, I would wear Mitsuru Akihiko instead of Mitsuru Yukari, but that's if I had to pick one. Apocalypse. Mind supplement. Oh, criminy. I mean, if I need super powerful swords, I can just give one to Junpei. I don't need to buy a sword. 
Like, I have two, two super powerful swords for June Page this morning. In fact, I can just give Junpei the Omega Drive now because giving him at pupil Sigma Drive defensively Prince Chosun. Oh yeah, I'm super glad to the Omega Drive now. Thank you, Tanaka. You, you actually helped me out there a ton. And now we have to do one more thing where we We have to actually do another oracle draw here. No! I just lost $10. That sucks. Now I'm down $5 when I got money from this place. We're going to be maxing out lovers tomorrow, y'all. Junpei gets at pupil. But I'm saying that the way Mitsuru Social Link is available so late in the game for you to have all these meaningful conversations with Yukari, with anyone, frankly, and then for everything just to like straight up work out that way, it's really good. It just lines up so well with the story. This is probably why so many people still hold Persona 3's writing above the other two Persona games. For, in addition to the other issues of Persona 4 and 5's narrative and characterization that I do admit exist in those games. Time to get my gift from Mitsuru. All right, Pat. Uh, all right, just gotta make sure we can get to Mitsuru right now. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we can talk to Mitsuru at the dorm, or we can do it at. I don't think he's bad. Um, Alright. Dorm, Yukari's room. For some reason, I'm feeling nervous, even though it's you, Matsuku. Everyone's in a room too. I hope no one finds I snuck you in here. If I accidentally scream, everyone will hear me. <gasps> what am I saying? Don't get the wrong idea, okay? Uh, too late, Yukari. Hey, I'm such a pervert. I didn't mean it like that. Yukari's face is all red. Talk to Yukari for a long time. Oh yeah, I wanted to give you something. This is for you. Yukari's giving me a special gift. The, the strap. You know what it is, right? It's a strap for my cell phone. I got it from the opening ceremony from Moonlit Bridge. It's been my such a piece for many years. Ever since my dad bought it for me. I used to talk to the toy figure attached to it when I was here in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? But as I got to know you, Matthew, and I talked to my fellow friend less and less. That's not the reason I gave you that. I'm only gonna say this once, okay? Matthew, I love you. Woo, that's sad. You can't ask Professor love for you and see who wants to love in return. Yeah. 
Thou art I, and I am thou. The bond thou hast in the truth to its final level. The inmost power of the love of Sakana has been set free. You saw upon thee the ability to create Sibeli. That giant tree earth toad thing you can summon in the Golden Sun games. You have mastered the Hikari Takuma social link. Your power to create personas and lovers of kind has reached its maximum. You have a forest bond that cannot be broken, no matter how many times Hikari sees you with another woman. Oh, that explains the Earth Toad thing then. You're an Earth Mother. When all this is over, we should do something fun, don't you think? Hey, don't make a clear answer tonight, okay? Because we're gonna be in this room all night long. Don't forget, I was the original intended love interest in this video game. Luckily, because you spent all night Jakari in the dorm, you can just go seek out of her room, go into the dorm showers, and leave. Oh, hey. Today's number 21st. Yeah, you're not scared because you're feeling the afterglow. Huh. There's actually a Persona 3 fanfic out there that actually ended, more or less, had that entire idea as the base behind Yukari and um, the main characters' uh, romantic interest in each other. Or rather, they happened to consummate the relationship literally the night before they were going to fight Nyx in the fall, so... Oh, crap. I forgot to walk with Mitsuru. Well, this is annoying. So I was talking about Castlevania. Yeah, Castlevania season one is really just Castlevania season one and season two put together and you can tell the seasons made more sense as one continuous story but either way the trio of Alucard who actually is Alucard which is pretty cool <laughs> Adrian Trips Tepes Alucard so uh, Saifa uh, Sorry, my brain all right, sure. And yeah, let's go for a walk. Anyway, Sypha is a... Uh, the whole concept of the speakers is really cool to me. Gormaro looks happy when he comes here. I think I'll make this a regular stop on my walks as well. It may not be appropriate to mention this, but it's almost Christmas. And well, do you... It's nothing for you to say anything. Welcome back. You seem to have enjoyed yourself out right there. Let's head back. It would be way funny if the game just used Mitsuru's little canned dialogue option there when talking to Core Morrow. Alright. So, anyway. I really enjoyed how Sypha, Trevor, and Alcard's um, interactions. Those three have every reason in the world to be the way they are, but my god, did they just... They are all so funny together, too. Like, it's peak character interaction. Bring unlikely people together, and the magic writes itself. Alucard... And that magic really peaks when you get to the third season, but that's what, um... But, you know...
But, you know, um, like I said, the attitude really peaks in the third season where you get to see everyone truthfully at their best. But the actual plot, like, okay, the entire plot is Dracula is a heartbroken old man who has no idea how to deal with the fact that he... All right. The King card set. Uh, I only have two Nile Gloves left. Yeah. Oh, back to the movies, her. It's so easy. You simply purchase a ticket at the window, you can watch the movie. It may sound strange, but I have been eager to experience the film at the theater. Even though we sat at the end of the aisle, I didn't feel like my view was compressing. I find it interesting that so much thought is put into the design of the search for movie theater. I am glad you enjoyed it. Thanks, to you, Sarto. I've always felt too uncomfortable coming along. I don't think it would normally have this type of conversation, but it seems to me that Kari is the type of girl who wouldn't feel like give it to watching a movie by herself. She's also more super right motorcycle. A motorcycle? Yes, yeah, so I believe you've seen it before. I usually wanted to try it small for the team. However, I didn't purchase this only for purpose. With a motorcycle, I want to know what I want, what I want for myself. <clears throat> it's my mom's attempt at rebelling against her switch with the life. I had planned to get rid of it after I was dead, so I decided to have a pair of set. It may be a bit of an desire to stay cherished if I do you know, right when I'm not. Let's go for a ride then. To the area, just two of us. You ride a motorcycle, you plan to sit on the back. Either way, we found again. Thank you, feel much better. Alright. Since we're playing Persona 3, which is the progenitor of the archetype, the character archetypes we'll see in Persona 4, and as you saw in this channel, Persona 5 Royal, you can see where Makoto Nijima got several of her character traits from in Mitsuru. I generally forgot that Mitsuru even used in her cycle when I got to Persona 5, because it's just not something she really uses all that often. Whereas, um... Makoto's is looking for her power. If you don't have any objections, I would say here with you a little while longer. Hello. Uh huh. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Fuka can go fast. Color chance is happy as ever, even though it's so cold. Hey, Mental Coon. A shrine may be an odd place to bring some of this things like that, but you have a plan for Christmas? I'm assuming you're free, of course. I have some preparations to make. Oh, um. Oh, that's right. I think the Christmas date is in this game, too, so you will be able to. Welcome back, Color Chan. You want a bath can? I'll clean it right away. So you can pick which, uh. Feel my character whose social link you've maxed out in order to spend Christmas Eve with. Today, we're also going to be maxing out the Hanged Man social link. I thought you were going to go visit your mother's grave. Oh, hi, Sonata-san. Is this where you should be? Well, I was planning to. But when I thought about what I was going to say to her, it just didn't feel right. There are things I still need to do before I talk to her again. Yeah, same here. I don't have anything I need to tell Shinji right now. I have my own stuff to deal with. An undefeatable enemy, huh? Gosh, I wonder what it's like. You got me. But it doesn't matter, because I've made up my mind. I'm gonna look it straight in the eyes. Straight in the eyes. I like the sound of that. You can count me in, too.
Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Let it go, let it out, let it go, let it out. Take a deep breath, deep breath. breath. Alright then. So everyone's getting their little revelation scenes. That means Shikari Mitsuru, Ken Akihiko, and I think the ones left would be. I don't think Fuka will, unless Fuka's with Jinpei at that point. I don't think Fuka will. Hey, come on, let's play in the jungle gym. The seesaw, kick the can, we can play them all. Play with Michael for a while. Woo, I'm tired. We played enough for you to remember me, right? Don't forget. Michael's gonna be savage and smiling. I'm leaving today. Dad say even though we're far away, we're still family. I think they should be friends like you and me too. So I don't have to be sad. I think family is important. Do you think I'll have a family on one day? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just say I bet you will because this is a very serious question that the, that you're asking naively and innocently, which is the most important thing to say about that. I'm sure I will. Michael is very happy. So um, Wang, we're up. Do we still be in together? <laughs> I have to think about that. But you must. We're supposed to get married someday. Michael seems disappointed. Eat this, okay? I made it just for you. Same B ring. Because one day we'll be trading vows, right? Michael's watching. Apparently, Michael just progressed to propose to you. A mysterious voice rang in your head. That I, and I am V. The bond you've technically hasn't fully matured has now been completed. The endless power behind the mind has been set free. We presumably really create Atis. The girl is trying to search to his maximum potential, and we've maxed out the power to create Hangman Persona, giving us the ability to make Atis. That dude who technically did really bad things to his crotch area. Close your eyes, okay? Michael kiss your cheeks softly. Hee hee, don't get cold feet. So, uh, I'll see you. You can't forget me, though. Uh, Michael, I am sure you'll forget me in due time. You are moving away. There are going to be other fish in the pond. People who are actually capable of returning Hello. your affections. Oh, wait, 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 oh, oh, God. Uh. Uh. We're going to be doing wine in this channel.
I, I missed another night to walk with Cormaru. This is why this is happening. So that shows great. Man. Abandon us. No. What? No. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Let it go, let it out, let it go, let it out. What? No. Okay, back where we should be. Hikari walking Cormaru. For a time, I was just happy when you get a holiday. I wonder if it's because it means everyone's at the dorm. No, not you. Hey, I have a question, but it might sound weird. You know what day tomorrow is, right? I'm gonna have something ready just in time. Um, well, I'll tell you the rest tomorrow. So, call it Yukari. Hey, there he is. Whoa, you know it's all dirty. I'm here, and we can clean the My bad. My bad. Yeah, I got those off because I got a Christmas date coming up with Fuka. Well, I decided to date because um, I don't really care for Yukari and it doesn't really feel appropriate to hang with uh, Mitsuru considering the fact that Mitsuru already has Yukari to hang with anyway. Ugh. 
Let's smoke some of the Fuka. Hmm. Are you ready to go, Mr. Coon? I don't need to rush you, but we can't stay out late. I don't care where we go, as long as we're together. You decide to spend Christmas Eve with Fuka. God damn it. You can't believe I tell Fuka. Yeah. Wow, look at all the decorations. They're so elaborate. Look, these trees are made of tired lights. They're so beautiful. They sure are. But that's what chili, but I'm really glad we came. Um, it's such a wonderful night, isn't it? Do you want to go inside the sea? It's gonna be chilly. I didn't want you to catch a cold. You talk to Fuka for timing. Why are you guys in your school uniforms? Put on your winter coats. I am having such a good time. Also, why is it chilly? Wouldn't something like Paloi Mall have indoor heating? Why is this even a concern? I pass through here all the time, but the night looks so amazing. Oh, that's right. Um. Right. These for you. Thinking you when I made them. Fuka's cookie. Sorry, I want to bake a cake, but I'm not gonna get baking. I didn't want to taste bad, but I think you'll really like these. So New Year's Eve is in the corner. If I was so an old self, I probably won't forget about today. But I'm a lot different now. Now I think that time is precious. I don't want to give up in the future. And being you is the best thing ever has in the Thank you for today. I had a wonderful time. I'm sure a lot of girls who wish they could be here with you. But you chose to be happy with me. That makes me happy. <sighs> we should get going. Oh, Mitsuru Senpai said since just think everyone will go back to time won't go to Taurus. I really look at Mitsuru Senpai, she's so kind of liable. Oh, you know, oh, sorry, I think I have run away. I thought you might like Mitsuru Senpai now as a woman. I guess I'm just ready to go that way, but I'm happy with you too. It means a lot to me. Thanks, Amy. I'll always have this for you, you, you. And that's just about battle doing missions for now. For now. Love. Uh, sorry about that. What should we have to this? After all, we have more time. I appreciate your confession, Fuga. However, there's still one person I have to give my heart to, for real, for a true story. Oh boy. Okay, right. So I wait. Alucard, Dracula's. The idea behind Dracula, Carmilla, the entire vampire courts. God's Bane. God's something. The Viking vampire. He was hilarious. He was hilarious. Oh. Uh, looks like we have to go talk to... We'll have to talk to that fat kid hanging on Paloya Mall again. Alright, dude, I've been putting you off for a good long while because I literally don't have any other social links to do now. You have a pretty good appetite. You can catch up with me. You must be one of those people with extreme metabolism. Sometimes I run into people who think they can take my top breaking. They're jealous. Remember that middle aged man that scared of all the time? Frazier was a sass of sorts. They think I'm, they think they understand how I got this far we're wrong. As soon as they accept that, it's better. Because your courageous appetite of the courage poor of the war making. This is something history placed upon you, so you already lost your fears. You you kid. Oh, you're so unlikable. You're so unlikable. Shinjiro is better than you in every way she performed the remake. You think you have to write? I think you're you're younger than me. It kind of feels like I have to have a brother now. So how about it? you want to have me as a big brother? Yeah, sure, okay. There's a river for them. Let's we last is not the three. We have to bring friends. Isn't always that way. I got my mind working. It just makes me hungrier. I just finished that beef bowl and we're aching for more. 
Thank you guys, should keep eating. I'll be treating myself and that's right. Maybe I'll get more hungry and walk backward over some of right? You can tell me you're right. Maybe I'll tell you to come. You're my supporters. By the way, mate, up this backwards walking. Don't steal it. Oh, God, you're such a jackass. Oh, my God. You did not make up this backwards walking thing. Where have you been? You are far from the person who made that up. Tch, <laughs> right. Alright, Mitsuru again tomorrow. We are not. And then another, a solo walk with Ken. I mean, a walk, solo walk with Kormaru. Oh my god. Watching the Vampire Court in Dracula base, the Vampire Court itself wasn't that interesting because you can't obviously make all of those people characters, but Car Carmilla, God's Bane, and two humans, Isaac and Hector, were definitely the interesting parties. And Isaac and Hector in particular are the most interesting ones there because they are completely human, but are still going to help Dracula in his plan. Granted, the big secret there is that uh, Isaac is the only one that the humans actually knows that um, that, that um, Dracula plans to serve the entire human race, whereas Hector only thinks that Dracula is going to call the human race and keep them controlled for the rest of their lives. You're accompanying Mitsu. Oh, right. <laughs> Please. Thank you. You win. Looking through the literature section, we realize something. There are a lot fewer books about marriage and family life than there are romance novels. Do you think that means the most exciting time in one's life is before marriage? Is marriage worth that sacrifice? No, that's called some publishers that are saying that readers don't actually care about seeing a relationship work out or a relationship or a romantic relationship having it down. That's uh, Frank, the group is a term of the inheritance issue. To be honest, I'm having difficulty saying the expectations of the other members, but I'm the daughter of the head of the co group and of the company, even if the requires to have do it. Beyonce has to be chosen for me. He's the new president of one of our affiliates. He's much older than me. But if I agree to marriage, the future of the company will be secured. Swain and Beyonce's cards are in our gates to the Do so give your parents the company stabilizing. It's the best solution for everyone involved. That's news to me! Well, of course it is. You're the one who hurts the foot. My parents show the same path, so I won't run from my destiny. You have to consider, though. I'm very considering why the gates of all I do. Leave everything behind, go to the journey of discovery. I did. Would you hear me? I'm ah, just joking. Right, so basically, the actual reason most romance novels stop at marriage is because these publishers and writers know that most readers don't actually care about seeing a relationship after marriage. They think that after that, they think that for, our generation was trained to think that everything leading up to the characters getting to romance is the only the interesting part of a romance. And that nothing after that is worth reading about. Arisato, let you have my heads in me if you like this. It's always just two of us. I have to follow through with my decision, but take, you, I'll give you what you lose resolve. If you're following this way, please excuse me, and I have to execute literally every other female character you've spoken to. So, the game warns you that Missouri will get jealous as well, but fundamentally speaking, we've Welcome Max out the associates for every character in the game we could date who could cause that uh, mechanic to trigger. I just said we weren't going to skip uh, Gormaru.
as like when you look at Hector and Isaac's past, you can understand why they would ever agree with something like Dracula's decision to either call the human race or just exterminate them outright. Their pasts are bloody and violent. Huh? Junpei kun? Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What are you doing here? Nothing, really. I come here when I'm feeling down. Is that Chidori's sketchbook? Yeah. This is where I first met her. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back there a lot lately. I see. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're totally different from when you first came to the dorm. Really? Yeah, you were so timid back then. But now you're so... strong. You've changed too, Junpei-kun. Yukatan said the same thing. But I don't think so. I mean, just the other day I got all freaked out about being scared. I am such a wuss. <laughs> That's not true. But I really was scared. Actually, I'm still scared. But after thinking about it, I realize that I don't want to lose my memory. If I forget everything, that means I'll forget Chidori, too. And I wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for her, you know? So I say F that. You're scared because you're not running away. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Fuka. That's why I want to protect everyone. Think about it. The dark hour is really scary too, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here today. The future hasn't been decided yet. And I want to be true to myself. True to yourself? You're really something, Fuka. We should fight. I agree. All right, everyone's got the resolve to fight. Cool. Tanaka, what you got for me this week? We just went through three weeks of Tanaka on one video. That's ridiculous. Look at how little plot there is for us to go through three weeks of Tanaka. The silver plate. Oh, man. Jesus. Hold on. The silver plate gives 124, uh, 124 defense physically. And can have gotten from Tanaka's commodities this week, but as far as physical defense goes, I don't really think it's super necessary. All right, let's stop the Akinari. This will be Sun Rank 9. So I like to congratulate me as a day I'm a free visual. Free from what? From my hospital. They're going to put me under care, but now I don't have to do it. I guess if I have two weeks to go into surgery, so I refuse any medication as well, which means I'm done with the hospital. Oh, um, well. Well, yeah, you are free. Now I'm just waiting for the end. I don't feel like I'm only being seen anymore. Everyone is waiting to die, if you think about it. Some of yourself longer than others. But once the time comes, it's the same for us all. Still a little lonely, but I'm not sad anymore. 
Yeah, that's the mathematician's way of looking at it. I want to remember what you look like, Mathesan. Thank you, I'm a little bit tired today. The story's almost done, so I can't show it to you soon. I'm not doing that. Short, but sweet. Hi, how was your day? Take a deep breath, deep yeah. Breath, deep breath, deep breath. Junpei, let's talk. Let it go, let it out, let it go, let it out. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Ugh, it's freezing here. Hey, Cormor, leave all your fur. You already made your decision, right? Yeah, I made mine too. I just want you to know. Oh, I saw Fuka today. She's pretty tough. She wasn't like that before. We sound way stronger. But I was like, well, that's a little shit I need. Girls are tough. That's no joke. Eh, are you saying me too? Don't worry, dude. Everyone knows what tough doggy you are. So the end of the game, yeah, the most expensive items are going to get ridiculously expensive. <laughs> Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Let it go, let it out. Well, for us, we can just do the Gourmet King here. Is that enough appetizers? Yes, where? Today, bowls as usual today. And as always, we should wind up extra large. Replace the new ones. Those are Don 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 noodles. That's three Don's. Anyways, once you go Don, you don't go back again. This is the Crown Jewel Huckleberry Secret Hidden Menu. Was considered this lightly flavored spice miso soup of my cause of the miracle creation. Last, or so I can't your cares. <laughs> you gotta know the secret menu, right? I don't know how to expect people to find out about it, though. Oh well, no point in talking about it. What's important is that all the best stuff is hidden from more people. Don't forget to keep the other bowl you took. Where? want to make that soup home with me. You or I are the only two who know the sublime sensation. Don't forget to blow off the noodles to cool them off. The blow the noodles to cool them off. Alright, great. So this video's gone on long enough, and... I decide that since it's going to be a really short ride of Taurus anyway, we're just going to climb. Yeah, we'll, I'll talk about the next video when we put it up. This has been a privilege and cause you got a lot to learn about me. This wouldn't be possible if we were brothers because the Warrior King's brother cannot be the Gourmet King. So, you get me? What do you say was? You're the Gourmet King. Ugh, you have to say that. I'm Jerry Shine. Once my egg, I get hard, it's okay. By the way, Warrior wants to save the soup in that bowl, so get me a takeout container. That's all disgusting notes to me, but okay. Alright, we don't have to take we don't have to take anyone to walk today, but we still need to day? clear block Taurus. Block five Taurus. So we're gonna be going to Taurus in the next episode. And I'll see you guys when we get there. Thank you all. Stay tuned. <laughs>